Hey guys, welcome back to uh, the channel for another video. Uh, in this video, I am going to show you my top 10 horror movies from the year 1980. So it's spooky season, it's the second day of fall, so I figured that I'm going to do a couple of videos of my top 10 rankings of the years of the 80s. So I'm going to start off with the year 1980, and I'm going to show you my my top 10. Uh, yeah, this is my list. This is my opinion. So everybody may not agree and that's fine. Uh, if you want to put your list on my on the comments, I would love to to read them. I would love to to see your top 10 rankings for the year 1980. So so yeah, let's uh, let's get right to it. Let's put these on the side and I'm going to start off with number 10. Lucio Polci's The Gates of Hell. Also known as The City of the Living Dead. Now, I love this movie. It's probably one of my favorite Lucio Polci films. Um, but uh, I didn't see this one until years later. So maybe that's why it doesn't... You know, I don't have that much nostalgic for it. Uh, and I didn't see it, like, I didn't rewatch it often, you know, so I, uh, but I remember enjoying the movie, I really enjoyed it. So it's, it's been a long time since I've seen it. So, I haven't even seen the, the 4K, but I am gonna watch it this, in the next coming weeks, you know, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna finally watch it, it's on my list. So, so yeah, so right now it's number 10, but this one might go higher, you know, in my rankings like later on. It's going to probably go higher. But for right now, I do have it at number 10, The Gates of Hell, a.k.a. City of the Living Dead. All right, coming in at number 9, I have The Watcher in the Woods. Uh, believe it or not, it's a Disney film. It's a Disney film, but man, it is... Creepy. I mean, as for me, when I saw it when I was eight years old in 1980, it creeped me out, and I loved it. I loved the movie. I I rewatched it a lot of times. So this movie is a lot of. I have a lot of nostalgic for it. Um, it's been a while since I've seen it. Now I haven't seen it in a while, and I haven't even seen this Blu-ray. But it, I will be watching this one in the next couple of weeks. You got Betty Davis. She's right there. She's a, you know, she was amazing. She's, you know. Uh, so, yeah, I'm going to be looking forward to re-watching this one. If you all haven't seen it, man, check it out. The Watcher in the Woods. Probably the only horror movie that Disney's ever made. I think they did make another one called uh, Something Wicked this Comes This Way or something like that. And I do have a copy of that one, too. But, yeah, coming in on number nine, uh, Watcher in the Woods. At number eight... We have a slasher, Terror Train, with uh, Jamie Lee Curtis. And you also have David Copperfield, the, the magician. He's also on this. It's a great slasher. It takes place like they're in the train, and they're, there's a lot, bunch of people wearing costumes, different costumes. And they're, it takes place during New Year's Day or New Year's Eve, and they're having a party. And uh, the killer is taking, you know, he's taking revenge. You know, and it's what's pretty cool about it. You don't really know who he is or, you know, because he dresses up in different costumes. Like he kills his victim and then he dresses up as that person and then he kills somebody else and dresses up as that person. So they can never tell who the killer is. Um, and you got the original artwork. Yeah, this is by a, a, a Scorpion releasing. Um, it's out, I think it's out of print now. Um, but yeah, this is number eight, Terror Train, and Jamie Lee Curtis, you're going to see her in this ranking a couple of times. I think there's like three movies of hers that made my top ten. All right, coming in at number seven, we have another one, Jamie Lee Curtis. You know, she comes, she's like the leading actress, and this is Prom Night, another slasher. You got Leslie Nielsen also. There he is, Leslie Nielsen, Jamie Lee Curtis. Yeah, this is a good slasher. And, you know, probably one of my top 10 slashers of all time. Um, yeah, Prom Night, you know. Um, 
I'm pretty sure everybody's seen it. If you haven't seen it, you know, if you love slashers, give this one a shot because it's it's cool. It's a really good movie. You know, in the beginning, you know, you have these kids playing around and they're, you know, playing a prank and it goes wrong. And from there, yeah, years later, they grow up and, you know, these, you know, they start getting killed one by one, you know. So, uh, yeah, Prom Night, check it out. That's number seven on my list. Coming in at number six, we have Maniac. Yeah, Maniac. This is a this is a very gory film, you know. And uh, yeah, this one I don't think it's it's not for everyone. Uh, you got Joe Spinell. He's the uh, he plays this uh, you know mentally. I mean, he's got issues. You know, he's got issues. Uh, obviously, um, yeah, he. Uh, He's going around New York City scalping women, killing women, you know. Uh, yeah, it's it's brutal. You got uh, Tom Savini who does the practical effects, the makeup, so you know what you're going to get. It's a, it's a very good movie. Like I said, it's not for everyone, you know. It's not your typical slasher. It's very sleazy, very, you know. But yeah, Maniac, pretty good. So that was number six. And coming in at number five, another one... With Jamie Lee Curtis, John Carpenter's The Fog. Oh yeah, um, this probably is one of my favorite ghost ghost movies. Such a great movie. You got Tom Atkins also on this. You got a great cast. Yeah, you know John Carpenter is one of my favorite directors, so you know that his stuff is always going to be high in my in my rankings. You know, I just love his work. It's amazing. Yeah, The Fog. Coming in at number four. Now, I may get ruffle some feathers on this one, but uh, yeah, the changeling. Um, yeah, this one could have been higher. Uh, this one could have been higher, but the, you know the reason it's number four is because I saw it years later. This is by Severn, by the way. I saw it years later, so it's the nostalgic is not really there. I didn't see it, you know, didn't rewatch it that many times, but. When I recently watched this Blu-ray, which was like a couple of years ago, uh, I loved it. I, I loved it. And, uh, you know, uh, this one's probably going to go higher again. You know, I'm probably going to rewatch it this spooky season. So it's going to definitely go higher because, you know, you got George C. Scott. You know, he's amazing in it. So, yeah, and it's very creepy. Very creepy movie. Uh, yeah, The Changeling. Man. I recommend it if you all haven't seen it. That was number four. At number three, we have Alligator. God, I love this movie. Yeah, this is probably my number two creature feature movie of all time. You know, right behind Jaws. You know, Alligator, I love it. I saw it when I was a kid, when it came out. And it was... It scared the crap out of me. You know, this alligator who was living in the sewers. You know, he got dumped as a little alligator. And he got flushed down the toilet. And... He just gets mutated and starts growing and growing, breaks out of the sewer and starts attacking people. Uh, yeah, there's one scene where there's these kids playing in the, like, like there's a pool, right? There's a pool, the alligator's in the pool, and these kids are playing, you know, by the pool. And then, you know, there's kids like on the, what do you call it, the plank? And one kid falls into the pool and he, the alligator just opens its mouth and blah. I was like, holy shit, man. But yeah, uh, Robert Forster, he's the leading actor. He's amazing. He plays like the, the the cop, the detective. Yeah, I love Alligator, man. Number three, Alligator. At number two, we have the original Friday the 13th. This is my favorite slasher of all time. My favorite, my favorite 80s slasher of all time. And I know a lot of people don't rank this at number one when you're talking about slashers or Friday the 13th movies. They either put number the final chapter number one, or they probably put uh, part two because that's where Jason debuts. But for me, it's where it all began. You know, this is the the original. I mean, this is where it all began. Um, Mrs. Voorhees. You know, if you know, we all have seen it, so we all know who the killer is in this one. It's Jason's mom, Betsy Palmer. She was amazing. You know, and and you know, I love this movie. I can watch. Rewatch this movie so many times, you know. You got a very young Kevin Bacon on it too. So yeah, Friday the Thirteenth, um, my number two and number one. 
The Shining, my number one horror film from 1980. Uh, what can you say about this one? You got uh, Jack Nicholson, uh, Shelley Duvall. I mean, the, I mean, rest in peace, Shelley Duvall. She was amazing. Jack Nicholson was amazing. Everything about this movie was creepy. I mean, it, it's great. I love it. So yeah, that was uh, definitely, you know, my number one is The Shining. So uh, there you have it, guys. Those were my top ten movies from the year 1980. Uh, let me know in the comment section which ones are your favorites from 1980. If you, you know, because I would like to know which ones they are. And again, thanks for sticking around and watching this. If you liked the video, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the bell for more upcoming videos. And again, I will be doing 1981 in the next couple of days, so bear with me. So again, I'll see you in the next one. See ya.